So get this, I saw a commercial for one of those crazy weight loss plans on TV this morning. Huh, what kind of wacko fad diet is it this time? It's gotta be better than that all salt one we saw. Actually, this promised you could eat whatever food you wanted and still lose weight. Sounds sketchy. And you don't have to exercise either. Sounds really sketchy. What's the catch? There isn't any. Okay, you have to go to the moon. Really? Let's check this out. Totally. At least we'll get to visit the moon. Hi, we're interested in your extraterrestrial weight loss program. Yes, of course. We'll start by taking a baseline measurement. How much do you weigh now, miss? Uh, you know what? Why don't we have the gentleman weigh himself? Much better. The scale weighs 100 grams. Duly noted. Now for step two, lift off. So this is the moon, huh? How about that? Sir, if you'll just step up for another weighing. It says 16.6 .6 grams. Well, there you have it. Look at all that weight you've lost. That will be $5 million, please. We take checks and all... Actually, your scale's wrong. What? It's calibrated for Earth, and it's showing his mass incorrectly. I don't understand what you're talking about. We can explain. There are two different quantities that can be confused, mass and weight. Mass is the measure of how much matter an object, like my body, contains. On the other hand, weight is a force. It measures how much a planet is pulling down on an object. Weight is measured in units of newtons or pounds force. Mass is measured in units of kilograms or pounds mass. Or slugs. <laughs> it's funny because we're slugs. Oh. I thought you were just homeless snails. Yeah, we're not. Mass and weight are related, but there's a big difference between the two. How they're affected by the gravity of a planet. John's mass isn't different from what it was on Earth. He hasn't lost or gained any matter, and so he's 100 grams here, there, and everywhere. Although I almost threw up in the rocket on the way here. I'm glad you didn't. I had a guy last week throw up. It cost me a thousand bucks to clean. You should really get some of those little paper bags for people. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. As I was saying, John's mass hasn't changed, but his weight has. It's smaller here on the moon than it was on Earth. And that's because the gravity here on the moon is smaller than the gravity on Earth. Six times smaller, to be exact, which means my weight is six times smaller, too. I weighed 0.98 newtons on Earth, but I only weigh 0.16 newtons here on the moon. Well, what if we went around to other planets, like in this convenient rocket ship I happen to have right here? Well, on some planets, John weighs less than he did on Earth. Mercury? Venus, but just barely. Mars? Uranus? And Pluto. Pluto? I thought you said planets. Well, it's a dwarf planet. Does that count? I guess. On other planets, John weighs more than he did on Earth. Like Neptune. Saturn. And Jupiter. And if we head to the sun, we are a lot heavier. Do you guys smell something burning? It's, it's like an escargot smell. Uh, we should head back. Okay, so I understand the difference between mass and weight, but now I'm all confused about my scale. We measure our weight on the scale, but it gives the answer in kilograms, which is the unit of mass. What's the scale really measuring? The scale measures your weight, but it displays mass. It's able to make the conversion because it's calibrated to include the gravity of Earth. But whenever you're here on the moon, the scale displays the wrong mass. Look to self, buy new scale. But hey, I promised a weight loss, and you got a weight loss. Five million dollars, please. True, but what people really want is a mass loss program. We often use the words interchangeably on Earth because the gravity's not changing. Yeah, I want to get rid of some of my mass right here on my stomach area. Or rather, Molly wants me to get rid of it. I just think you could eat a little less ice cream and go for a walk every now and then. 